Hello everyone, this is another video from Easy Electric Series and today we want to design a smart home uh, switch system and we want to able to use the internet and turn on and off some switch or outlet at home. So as you could see here, our prototype just include the turning on and off the LEDs but in the practical case, whenever you are able to control 5 volt or 3.3 volts with using the relay, you will be able to turn on and off or control any AC power. So here we actually use 6 LED. We actually put one for the master bedroom light. The next one is bedroom, kitchen, restroom and coffee maker and one for garage door and we want to able to use actually a web server a singspeak.com server and we want to able to turn on and off these switch through the internet so as you could see here i have one link for the thingspeak web server so here i have six fields so see field one field two three four five and six so field one is for master bedroom field two is for bedroom field three is kitchen field actually four for restroom field five for coffee maker and field six for garage door so if i want to turn off any of these fields so definitely i just put here the zero if i want to actually turn on I just need to change this zero to one. So see right now the field one is zero. So which is this master bedroom is off. So I'm going to actually change this field one, which is right now is zero to actually one. So that means it should be turned on the master bedroom switch. So I just change that to the one and just enter so see that's actually on so the same thing if i want to turn on the second led which is for the bedroom so here bedrooms actually control field field one so that was actually the zero so i'm going to change that to the one so see right now field one and two which is the master bedroom and bedroom is on and all other license so it should be off so i just push actually the enter so see here it is actually on so if you want to do the same thing for kitchen kitchen is field three so you just need to come here and change field three to field three zero right now i change that to the one so and go there and enter so if you see that here it's actually all of them is three so we could actually turn on all of them so i'm going to do the same thing so field four is field four is zero i changed to the other one which is the restroom so field five is for actually the coffee maker so that's actually the outlet which you connect your coffee maker so I change that to the one. So I keep the last one, which is the garage door off. So I just enter. So if you check here, so all of them is actually on. So that means through the internet and through this web server, you are able to control any switch or outlet at home. So let us see how you could actually design that. So if you check the component of the project, we have two components. The first one, this one is the Tiva C series launchpad, which is one low cost uh, Cortex M microcontroller. So then I use actually the, the booster pack, which is CC3100 booster pack, which is somehow you could actually put this booster pack on your launch pad so you are able to connect your microcontroller through the booster pack to the internet and able to communicate with the internet so the only difference between this project with the previous video that we posted in the previous actually the project which was the smart home so you are able to do the same thing but the uh, the 
all the, the, the things and also the control device which could you your actually the laptop your uh, cell phone all of them should be connected to your uh, local network which we use that as a router in our previous project so that means whenever you have one device which is not in your local network you couldn't actually control this switch but in this project we use actually the syncspec.com web server but we could be right now within this project you are able to turn on and off this switch through the internet from everywhere in this world okay so that means you you are not necessarily you be connected to your local network it could be anywhere in this world you could use actually your internet and able to control each of these switch so let to a little talk about uh, thinkspeak.com and see how I use this website in my project so as you could see this is the first page of the thinkspeak.com if you click speak thinkspeaks.com you actually see this first page so you need to actually first make a account that able to use this website so if you have any account with the mass fork in MATLAB, definitely you could use that here. So that's actually accept the mass fork account. So after you actually making your account, you could actually log in and you are able to see this first page. Here you see we have the channel. If you click on that, definitely you could actually make the channel. So I click here on my channel. I already made two channels there smart uh, home channel is here if you click on that to so actually go to this page so for this project we actually need six fields in this channel the channel name is smart home so then you need to actually create the six field in that channel so you see the all of that six channel which is one for master bedroom one for bedroom one for kitchen one for restroom coffee maker and the garage door is the last one so after you actually making that so you see here there is actually a couple of the tabs which provide for that channels so if you check the API keys here so you see there is actually some API request um, HTTP codes so here on the right side you see if you want to read any um any uh, fields in your channel so you need to actually use these uh, http codes that you see which you use actually the get command and you need to have the whole these codes here so um, same thing for writing in the field so that means here you you are able to write in any of that field in your channel and also you are able to read that okay so the way that we use in this project, so with microcontroller actually, we are able to make this code that you see for reading the channels and also the fields. So, and this one is that what I show in the beginning of this video, which you are able to write on that feed. So, so whatever you could actually use the web browser and write whatever you want on your field. So see, this is what I already show so which there is actually six field if you want to turn on you just write one here if you want to actually turn off the switch you just need to put the zero so for example here if I want to turn off the massive bedroom it's already one I just change this one to zero then I just push the enter so it's actually changed the value in that uh, field in my channel so definitely you could read what you have in your channel or in the current steps of your channel. So definitely this is a course that you could use in any web browser for reading from your channel. So this is what I have here. So if you actually write these codes on your web browser, so add enter that, it's actually give you what you actually write now, what you have on your channel or on your fit c we change that to the zero one you see the field one is zero and all the current status of your fields so that means the way that we use sync speak actually we with microcontroller we actually produce these 
HTTP codes and send it to the uh, web server so then your microcontroller actually receive that string from your from the sync is big this string that you see so you receive that sync string in your microcontroller then your code should be able to actually detect all the value of this field and based on the value you read from the web server you could actually make a decision which led or switch should be on and off so that means if i read the field one zero i actually turn off the master bedroom leds if i receive the one so i just turn on that led so so this is actually how we use this so you are actually use these http codes to write through the any web browser which is here we did so you put whatever you want zero one so then your microcontroller actually should be able to send the second HTTP codes for reading the current status. So it's actually received this string. Then it should be able to see what's the current status of the each field. And based off that, it's able to know it needs to be turned on or turned off the LEDs. So uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let us to upload more video thank you for watching